Hello and welcome to Wonder by Z. My name is Soham and in this quick video I need to talk about something very interesting in regards to a new Digimon 2020 reboot series. So now we have confirmed news that Moon Millennium Mon and Millennium Mon are appearing on the Digivice. Now for those of you who are unaware, this particular Digivice is actually a very popular game in Japan and of course merchandise and toy sales are a very important part of the anime. Not just the Digimon anime but any anime in general. Merchandising and toys are very important and they give us kind of an outlook as to what exactly we can expect to see in the future of the anime. This happens a lot in many different series especially Dragon Ball, Digimon and Pokemon. So to see Millennium Mon appear in this particular Digivice, this is very interesting for the future of this particular series. Because recently we have crossed the 25th episode mark of the Digimon reboot series and things are looking very interesting. Of course a couple of months back we had this major theory that Trio might really appear in this reboot series. Now granted that has actually not appeared so far but it really doesn't seem unlikely especially after seeing how the things are unfolding. And above all it seems very likely that Millennium Mon or maybe Seed Millennium Mon is finally going to appear in this particular anime series. And it might also go on to become the major antagonist of this particular series. Now granted for Millennium Mon to appear there needs to be certain conditions met. And I'm going to talk about them one by one. So the first and foremost thing is Machine Dramon or Mugen Dramon. Of course we have not seen the thing in its entirety yet but Ogumon did manage to digivolve or dark digivolve into the Machine Dramon form or the silhouette of a Machine Dramon and that particular data can be obviously harvested for the utilization of Millennium Mon or the birth of Millennium Mon. And the second part which is required here is Chimera Mon. And I'm pretty sure that we are eventually going to see Chimera Mon in the future of this particular series. Because recently we also got to see Moon Millennium Mon. Now personally I don't really know what exactly will be the story in regards to Ryo and whether he will appear or not. For those of you who are unaware, Ryo is a much bigger character than just in the anime. Because he is the protagonist for a lot of different Digimon games and it's not wrong to say that he is like the professor paradox of the Digimon universe. Because initially he appeared in the adventure world or the adventure storyline and then he jumped from timeline to timeline and eventually he ended up in the Tamers universe. There are many channels who have covered the history of Ryo in the Digimon games and the anime and there are some very good videos out there on YouTube. I would definitely advise all of you to go and watch them. But just so you know, Ryo is a very big figure in the realm of the games and it's very likely that he is going to make an appearance in this particular series as well. Because after all this particular Digimon series, this particular adventure series is a different or an alternate timeline than the 99 series. And also, we recently got to see Moon Millennium Mon in the series as well. Of course, this Digimon was not named or mentioned there. It was only shown in its blue crystal form, which granted the power up to Skull Knight Mon as well as to Dun Devimon. But any Digimon fan basically knows that what exactly this guy is. Of course, it is Moon Millennium Mon, and it would be really amazing to see Seed Millennium Mon finally in the anime as well. Now if I'm not wrong, so I'm admitting once again that I might be wrong here, he might have appeared in some other series which I can't remember currently, but if I'm not wrong, Zed Millennium Mon has actually not appeared in the anime yet and it would be really amazing to see him finally in the anime. Again, I can't exactly remember if I've seen him in the anime or not, but either way things are really going to be interesting in this particular regard. And after seeing the confirmation of Millennium Mon appearing, finally appearing in the Digivice games, then it's almost confirmed that we are finally going to see him appear in the anime as well. And if at all he goes on to become the final villain or the final boss of the series, then things would be really interesting. Of course, there's no 100% guarantee yet on the thing, but my prognostication does say that we are eventually going to see Millennium Mon appear in this particular series. And it would be really amazing if eventually Zed Millennium Mon also appears. Again, I'm really sorry, I can't really remember if we have seen Zed Millennium Mon before in the series or not, but as far as I know, we have not seen him in the anime before, so it would be really awesome to get to see him in the Digimon Adventure Reboot series. But anyway, that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do mention your thoughts in the comment section below. So that's it for today, this is Wonder YZ and I'll see you soon in the next video.